Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Salutations, CB. <sighs> Girl... Why do you keep calling me, leaving me tons and tons of messages? And I told you when I left Georgia, I was going to the North Pole, South Pole, anywhere pole to help Santa Claus. Okay, get these kids some toys if people still believe in that kind of stuff. But I just needed some re relaxation. I just needed to be away for a while. Now... It seems that you and Mike have come to a head, okay? I have come to a head and wanted to call it quits. But you remember when we were taping on The Real Housewives of Atlanta? I don't know what season it was, but you were there, Mike was there, and the girls were there. Okay, all his girlfriends. Then you had a uh, baby girl down there living with Mike. So you could come to L.A. and... and have some gigs there, but I still can't get over that you let Candy, uh, Candy let you get married on 10 10 20 20 or whatever that was, I think. 10 10 20, you know where I'm going with. Then you're out here doing interviews with everybody and their grandma. That was Gary with the T. Okay, and everybody was he he ha ha and at this second wedding of yours. Okay, why don't you sit down like Mal? Sit your little brown self down. Okay, get a book, read it. Better yet, go to the major agency and find some people to model so you can book them. Busy and book is what you need to be. Now, again, this is your second marriage. And I told you, I said, you know, can you try to tell you? Let, let's just chill. Chill. Let the man come chase you for a while. Like you said in that uh, bakery that but a quick lady was hanging out. They were supposed to be having some, some news for Tanya. And then can you brought that situation, and we know how all that went for those that watched the show back then. You know, we told you, I tell you, my Peter, Peter was a nice hunk of dark chocolate. Yes, he was, and when y'all took pictures, it was golden, because the man might be a bad businessman when it comes to uh, club, uh, restaurants, and all this stuff, this, that, and the third. Uh, but he made you look good on pictures. He made you look good, girl. You know, and then you couldn't even make it with him. He said sex went all that evil. So I guess he was just with you for the money and the notoriety, Cynthia. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna stay on Peter. Oh, we like Peter. Peter, Peter, Parker, Eater, had to watch a good game for her. But I told y'all I don't have time for these shenanigans that you're playing out here. Listening to Steve Harvey, he's setting you and Mike a little. Really? Really, girl? I don't know if you just curse him, you know, or you just bound to live the life your mother lived, that she was definitely uh, a divorcee, and then your sister Mall Mallory divorced, so maybe this is a, a curse or something, okay? But we want you at the latter part of your life, which is now, sit down, just enjoy a man's company. Well, I don't know, because they sure were saying here and there that you like the women company, too, so I don't know. Figure out what sex you like, okay? Figure out what sex you like. But don't get married anymore. Stop listening to people like Steve Harvey saying he got it all figured out. Because he don't have many wives. Did he have ex-wives? Okay? And sure, it, it shall be told, Marjorie, who he with, is, is that Marjorie? Yeah, I think it is. She just using him mind. She just using him. He ain't got no better place to be. So he thought he'd just stay with his current wife. All right, but she using him for all the notoriety and the money and stuff. Because allegedly they said she was messing with a kingpin, a drug, a uh, head drug leader or something. I don't know, person. But we basically, Cynthia, we trying to chill. I said I was going to be back next year. But you you constantly leaving these phone calls wanting to talk to me. Now, what do you want to talk about, baby? I mean, the, the news 
media outlet got it straight. Every type of blogging person out there in the U.S. is sitting there telling your story that you were dumb to marry uh, this man. I say dumb because that's pretty much how you have to put it, Cynthia. You're dumb. You know, you're 50. You're supposed to learn better, do better, know better. But for some odd strange reason, you just don't, you're not cool. Okay? You ain't got you ain't got it, girl. You haven't landed and, and, and solidified yourself in no type of relationship. But I should tell you something. Maybe it's just not meant for you to be married. Maybe you need to do like oh and just have a man in your life where you call upon him when you need him. And you know, you wanna take some photo ops, okay. But don't sit there and say you're going to be like Elizabeth Taylor and marry till you get her right. Because even then, she didn't. Right? She's been married, what, seven, eight times? And she still ended up on her deathbed with no man. But um, every news outlet is, is after you, girl. Page 6, telling your story. TMZ, telling your story. People.com, telling your story. All about the tea and reality tea. And a host of others. I just too many to name. Uh, basically, baby girl, you can't keep a man out there. It's okay. I told you it's okay. You do what you want to do. If you want to get married, get married. If you don't want to get married, don't get married. But a host of people were telling you, especially the bloggers, the well-known ones, and the, and the up-and-coming ones. They told you, do not, do not marry this man. Okay, because everybody want to see somebody do good. And we want to see you do good, Cynthia. But there were so many red flags there. And then for you to have him on your show, giving him a little shine, uh, you did the same move what you did with Peter, girl. But we still like Peter. Peter came in doing the darn thing, and he was just like a housewife. You know, he was there for the camera. He knew how to perform with the camera and all that. But... Not to talk about him, because like I said, we, we gave Peter a pass, okay? Because he can go with the men, he can go with the ladies. He didn't care. He's just trying to get that money and that time. All right. Uh, and, you know, he's addressing with Michelle Brown over on her channel. I saw that uh, she was trying to say something about some pictures you had put of Peter and that you were coming home. And he saw it. He just didn't want to mess with you. He didn't want to get into why you did that shit. But he was like, maybe she was tired of day. I don't know, because we ain't together. And we're never going to get back together, okay? So, but, um, you know, like I told you, I'm out here at the North Pole trying to help Santa Claus deliver some of these toys and, and good spirits and stuff of that nature because of the season. We're trying to find out where Rudolph done took himself to because we can't get no sleigh uh, up with the other uh, reindeer. He's the main one because we're already dealing with fog, they say, in Georgia. Girl, stop calling me about Mike. I don't want to hear about Mike. Nobody want to hear about the comments and goings because we even tried to tell you when the uh when the tea spilled that he was fooling around on you. You came out, you know, trying to say no, uh, -uh Mike ain't doing that to me, and, and Mike gonna sit up there and be in the news trying to say no, it ain't nothing like that. And if somebody want to continue to say things of that nature, then we we might have to take some legal action. He was like, Mike, Mike, Mickey Mouse, Mike, okay, Mickey Mouse, Mike, Mike. <sighs> Look like Tom and Jerry to me at this time. Cynthia, that should give you a, a little chuckle here and there. He looked like Tom and Jerry. All right. But, girl, all the advice that I can give you at this time is just chill. Chill, because even if you brought out that he cheated on you, which, you know, most people is going to say that's exactly what happened. But somehow... Uh, he convinced you not to uh, tell what was really going on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because, you know, you had to go and, you know, try to save face. And then, you know, he probably told you that it would look bad on you. Cause you already had one failed marriage. Now you got two. You really want to go down like that? I mean, you are the oldest. You're 55, something. He's 52. But we didn't give a shit. I'm telling you, I, I wouldn't. I want to get shot. I mean, like, okay, was he good in bad girl? Did he satisfy you in that uh, phase of a relationship? Uh, but it don't seem like, I mean, it's, when y'all got together, he lost his job. You ain't tell us that. I said, you ain't calling and tell me that. Leave that on the 
a machine, answering machine, when I wasn't there to pick up. You didn't tell me that he had lost his job. And then he sat up there and said, it was a hard time getting to that one-year mark with you, Cynthia. And Peter Thompson ain't never said no stuff like that. He ain't never said no stuff like that. You were mad because you had spent a little bit too much of your money. And I, I told you it was, it was cool. You know, when you get married, your money, his money, his money, your money. That's how it's supposed to go. Girl, just get it together. Get it together. But I, I had to sit and, and see who was talking about you and try to formulate a plan of action of what I wanted to say back to you. Because I didn't want to talk to you about this situation because it's just like, we told you so. You know, we told you about Peter. We told you, you know, pump your brakes. If you can't try to tell you, pump your brakes. And if you listen to Nene, Nene probably would have told you the same thing. Pump your brakes, girl. Let the man run after you. But, you know, we can't really say too much about Nene. You know, because Nene running after a married man, but he's not married. Well, he's still married at this time, but I think he's getting a little closer uh, to getting his divorce. And, you know, Nene don't pay him off that man. So, he what it is, you know, we don't talk about it over drinks. I know how you feel about it, you know how I feel about it. And uh, we got to talk about Portia, honey. We got to talk about Portia because I, I couldn't make her win. They had sent me an invitation and stuff. And uh, I like, ah, I don't want to go down. They, they ain't going to Africa, you know what I'm saying? Because I was waiting for this big old festival, this ritual type of uh, ambiance environment that he was being the king of a Benin, but you know. That didn't happen. She seen, he had two weddings here in the States. And I'm like, okay. okay I'm going to call her later on because she called me too, trying to figure out why I didn't come through here. And I was like, why? Why should I come? Well, you know I'm going to cut the food. Okay, so I'm like, I'm looking for this African traditional wedding back home in Benin. That's what I'm looking for. Okay? But People Magazine had to probably pay you off because you gave them exclusive rights to your uh, wedding, and they were there taking photos, snapshots, and all this kind of stuff. But I was like, okay, where's the payday in all of this? Where's, but, you know, like I said, I got to call uh, Portia back, and I know she's still doing her uh, newlywed type thing or whatnot. And I just leave her a message. I leave her a message and tell her, mm, girl, play it right now. Play it smart. Get all your assets together. Because I don't think you're going to be too long in your marriage either. Try to forewarn her. But she was like, I already called herself for a year. Mrs. Mrs. Gabadia. Now we need to see if she's going to be with him for one year. Which we really don't care. You know, we, we, you know, we just give advice. Free advice to people that want to come and ask what they feel about this person. What do you, you know, like I'm a palm reader or something. Hell, I don't know what you feel about them. You know, that's why they tell them, what do you feel about the same thing I just say to you, Cynthia? Because I try to tell you about him. Now, what grown man going to lift their tongue out like that? <sighs> a beautiful wedding that ended very disastrous. Because I don't think you were happy right after you said I would do. But it is it what it is. But, you know, I, I caught some, um, some stories, some write-ups about everything, because you didn't tell me the whole story. You didn't tell me the whole story. Okay, but we're going to get down in uh, Hollywood life. I picked it up, and I'm just, you know, going to get ready to get off this phone in a minute, because I ain't have 15 minutes to get you, okay? But it said, the allegations also appeared in another set of court documents labeled as motion to seal, seemingly doubling down on the infidelity ac accusations. The document said that they may raise issues concerning both the more character and embarrassing acts of the parties and were there women and were there be and women hello and were therefore intended to be killed private. These facts are perceived to have a strong probability of potential adversely compromising one of the both one of or both parties' reputation, image, business dealings, and will significantly harm the parties mentally, psychologically, financially, and emotionally, they also say. Now that's all I'm gonna get. I said, stop trying to let somebody walk all over you, Cynthia. Stop letting people walk all over you. Then you know what was what. But he, what was Mike gonna do? Once you let the world know the real truth that he did cheat, okay? That he did cheat on you. Peter just took your money and you was mad and that's why you wanted to get, you know, away from him. He didn't cheat. He just using your money for financial gain, okay? And, and keep him in a lavish lifestyle that he's so accustomed to. But that doggone Mike, 
girl, anybody that's going to have a sabotage type of uh, drawback negatively would be Mike. Okay, and stop telling Mike is your friend. Y'all left amicably and this, that, and the third. Hell, if he, if he fucked you up, something he fucked you up, okay? You need to deal with that, okay? You need to have tore everything up in his house and whatnot and, 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 and sound her alone like Beyonce said, okay? Now I ain't got no more. I ain't got no more. Don't call me no more either. I call you when I come back to the States. But right now, I'm trying to help Santa Claus. Right now, we're trying to run, uh, what, grandma, what do you call it? Hell, I don't know what the word is, cause it's 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 it's, it's on left my mind, cause I'm cold up here. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't throw him some heat. You know what I'm saying? Like he's on uh, get your little uh, outfit on. It'll warm you up. Hell no, it's snow coming down. We can almost like we in Antarctica or somewhere. So I gotta go cuss him out in a few minutes. But I'm just saying, let yourself have some peace, okay? And I'll see you when I come back to the States. All right? Love you, girl. And I'll talk to you soon. But don't call me back now. Don't call me. Yeah, don't call me. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.